you never want a hospital to be in the situation where they have to choose between equipment for the patient at the bedside and actually having storage space. So about two and a half years ago, I took over the director uh, position for surgical services here at Wesley Chapel. Um, at that time, they had four uh, ORs. We were expanding to eight ORs. Uh, one of the biggest problems in any given um, uh, surgical suite is having enough space for supplies. So at the end of the day, what we wanted to do is we started looking at how can we maxi maximize that storage footprint um, you know, without adding a tremendous amount of build out for that storage space. And so that's when uh, we, we had heard about Rotomat. Um, actually, my CNO had heard about it. Uh, I don't know whether through the grapevine or how she actually came on it, but we started looking into that and that's why we proceeded that way. When Christian um, had really started inquiring about the Rotomats and he realized it was the right solution for him, you know, he, he really helped drive it home. And if it wasn't for the Rotomats, you know, I'm not sure where they would have gone with their additional materials. So they have chosen to store all surgical wraps and containers in the Rotomats and all their, uh, their other patient consumables and, and, and items are, are on the high density mobile shelving. So for Christian, it just really made sense um, to bring in the Rotomats. Well, the obvious difference is just uh, square footage and the footprint again. Um, I have been, so we built back home a $200 million uh, hospital. We built a 12 room OR. Um, the storage space for it had to be doubled in size, whereas we're an eight room OR, which is comparable. Our storage space there, our footprint there was about double in size, which adds several additional challenges uh, to managing that storage space as well. You need additional help uh, because now you're stocking things are more spread out so you're spending FTE time on that. Um, you also have uh, a larger area to clean, a larger area to inspect and, ma and maintain. Uh, with the, the Rotomat, we don't have that. We have a condensed area, easy access, easy to, to, to um, you know, monitor, uh, and then on top of that, it, it in increases that footprint that we have for storing items all the way from instrumentation to our disposables. If you're looking at an older organization who wants to expand their footprint and ha add additional storage space, this would be an awesome way to go because the, the, the monetary cost is really not that high compared to expanding and having again dead space that is very costly to build, costly to maintain, and will do the exact same thing as this footprint will do. On the other side, the new construction is again, you gotta maximize that dollar when you're, when you're building. So, you know, the, you never want a hospital to be in the situation where they have to choose between equipment for the patient at the bedside and actually having storage space. You know, because we want the best equipment for our patients whenever we're doing the cases. We want to be state of the art. And you never want to have to, to look at this and say, you know, we got to build more storage space so we're going to sacrifice on our equipment. Um, this allows us to, to maximize that storage space, in my opinion, at a nominal cost compared to expanding a footprint. Having been in leadership for over six years, I actually look at, um, one of the things we look at is, you know, worker, workplace injuries. Those are one of the major things we deal with because those cost the organization both money, they cost us time. I mean, our staffing becomes infringed on that. And then we also have to worry about that person as an individual. You know, they have families, they have lives. We wanna make sure that they're not getting hurt at work and then they're off work and that compromises their life. So one of the nice things we looked at when we looked at this was ergonomics. Um, if you look at, the, at how it's set up, 
the trays come to you. So everybody in America comes in a different package. They're tall, they're short, you know, everybody has different challenges when it comes to height. This brings it to you so that you're always at that, that hip level and that it's simply pulling it off the machine and putting it into the cart. There's no bending, there's no stooping. You know, those are the things that, that lead to back injuries. They lead to um, actually heavy trays being dropped and then you get a foot injury or you get whatever. So those things lead to downtime for our OR staff. Sometimes it can impact our efficiency with doing our cases. Um, that it, it can Im impact definitely our financial status because we have to replace that individual while they're recovering. All those things lead to a, you know, a cost savings benefit when you're doing things ergonomically correct. The team, it, at first, it, it was kind of mixed, you know, because this is something different. It's not something they see every day. It's not something they've worked with at every, every other facility. Once we established the routine, and once we were able to build that footprint, uh, you know, the, the, the comfortable factor came in and they began to, be, to, to like the, the machines. If Wesley Chapel had not gone with the Rotomats, they would have needed a considerable amount of additional space to store the exact same materials that they're storing in these three Rotomats. So for them, it was the obvious choice.